everybody, it's Kozu! I'm making this tutorial specifically for my TV avatar that I'll be putting up on my stores tomorrow. So, just to show you how to upload for PC Quest and the fallback option, since some of you may not know how to do that. Um, yeah, any anything I mentioned in here will be linked below. So, just as a heads up, um, yeah, the avatar is going to be $10 for all three versions. Um, it was one of the 10 winners for the VRChat Avatar Jam, so you can actually find it in the public tab for just normal public and in the fallback section. Um, or you can find it in my public world too. Uh, it has all the same features except for the paid version has GoGo Loco on it, so if you're interested in customizing or whatever, or you want to support me or whatever, that'd be awesome. Go check it out. Um, yeah. I'm sure you can use this tutorial for other avatars too, since most people have their Unity packages set up um, kind of the same, but I've also made a different tutorial. It, it, that one doesn't include fallbacks, that's just using the creator companion, which we'll also use today, but I figured I might as well just attach this along onto the actual store so people aren't confused. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll try to answer them in the comments, or if you join my Discord, which I'll also link, um, I'll help you better in there. Because um, I don't really check YouTube that often. But um, if you do join my Discord, make sure you verify with the bot and read the rules, and also react to the heart to gain access to the rest of the server or you can't see anything. Also, you can join my group on VRChat. Uh, it looks a lot better than I, the last time I showed it, so I, I made it look all right. <laughs> so join that if you'd like. It also has my Discord linked and I think my store. Yep, okay, perfect. Um, so let's get started. So basically, you wanna log into VRChat and then click on download. We're gonna click on download the creator companion. And then we're gonna install that, accept the agreement, next. Cool. Uh, I guess show me around. Perfect. Okay, once you click through everything and you see this thing, let's start a new project. Avatar project. I'm gonna name this TV CC for creator companion. And then create a project. Project created successfully. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna open a project. Okay, once you get to this screen, you should be all ready to go. Once you've downloaded my package, it should come in something that looks like this. Um, if you're using Creator Companion like we are right now, don't import number one. That's only if you have Unity as a standalone thing. That's, you know, if you don't have Creator Companion, use that. But since we are using Creator Companion, Let's not add that or else it'll break the project. So we import the shaders. Okay, shaders imported. Let's take TV. This has PC Quest and Fallback all in the same thing. Quest and Fallback are technically the same thing in this specific instance, so just keep that in mind. That might not be true for any other Fallback, so just keep that in mind. Okay, once we're here, you're gonna double click Click Me TV, and that'll open up the project. So, I have four avatars right here. The top two I have hidden. Those ones don't have Go Go Loco, so if you don't want that, then use those. Unhide them with this little box. Um, yeah, so essentially, you're gonna go up to VRChat SDK, show control panel, open that up, and then start logging in. Okay, once you've logged in, you are currently on the Windows part, so we'll, we'll upload for PC first. So hide the Quest version, you can click that, and go to Builder, and then Build and Publish for Windows. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to name it something that we want. I'm just going to name it that. Keep it private, please. Check that. Go to Scene. And then we're going to click on this first camera here. And you can see the camera preview. This is what it's going to look like for the thumbnail. So you can change the picture if you'd like um, by going to TV. And this is the background. 
um, yeah, you can just change it to whatever you want if you like, or you can keep it how I've made it. Um, let's get this in a little bit more. Go back to game. Upload image is all good. And so we'll upload, and this is going to be the PC side of things. Okay, now we're going to do the quest and fallback version. So let's hide the PC version, because if you don't, then it'll give you some like weird errors when you go to switch to Android build. So we're going to go to File, Build Settings, Android, and then Switch Platform. Okay, that section takes forever, but you are now swapped to the Android build. So let's check this out. Um, it should say build and publish for Android. If not, um, that's going to be the Windows version or the PC version, sorry. Um, let me just show you what it looks like when you have the PC version on. It won't let you build because it's gonna be like, eh, boy oh me, uh, problems. So just make sure to upload the quest version. So we're gonna go to content manager. I'm gonna look up the name TVCC, which is what we named the PC version. Scroll down to the blueprint ID. It might be at the top for you. I don't know why it moves around sometimes. But paste that in and attach it. So this makes it so the avatar is under the same ID so that you don't have to swap specifically for Quest or PC people. And we'll just build and publish for Android. Okay, this is the important part for fallbacks. Click use for fallback and also this one. Um, yeah, so that just makes it so that in the fallback section where you select whatever fallback you want to use, that will TV will be able to show up there. Okay, and then you're all stinking done. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions again. Look at my links. I'll try to timestamp this video. I looked up how this time, so <laughs> I should be able to do it. Um... Yeah, sorry I'm not very good at making tutorials, but I appreciate you watching this, and I hope this helps. Yes. Okay, have a good day. Goodbye!